Hello there guys and welcome to our 8th Java GUI programming tutorial. Okay, so sorry for taking so long to make another video, but uh, I've been very busy with school and all things, so I apologize for that. Anyways, in today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and talk about the J text field. And um, so let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and type our code first like we always do and then we'll go over it. Alright, so let's go ahead and declare a new J frame. And let's let's call it J frame frame and I'm going to call it frame I guess equals a new J frame okay next let's go ahead and type frame dot and let's go ahead and set title I'm going to set this as tutorial 8 you can most certainly choose any title you want to just like always next we'll type frame and let's go ahead and set location uh, relative and then we'll set that to null basically nothing next we're going to go ahead and set the size let's set the size I'll make this one um, 200 by um, let's say 250 Okay. Next, we're gonna type frame that set default close operation, and then J frame dot exit on close. Just when the user click the X button, it will it will terminate the program. Next, let's go ahead and what we want to do is basically declare a J panel. So, type J panel, and then I'm gonna name my panel. And set it equal to a new J panel. Now let's go ahead and declare our J text field. So we're going to type J text field uh, text field equals a new J text field. And all right. Now that we have declared our text field. Uh, Let's go ahead before this, let's go ahead and declare a label that we previously did and then I'm gonna call mine label and set that equal to a new J label. Okay. Don't worry about this being red, this because we haven't imported the let's put a asterisk here. Uh, and then I misspelled here is J label okay so now that we have our label uh, and let's go ahead and set our label so let's go ahead and type down here label that set text and let's set it to um, YouTube you can you can most certainly set to 20 text you wish and uh, next we're gonna go down here and we're gonna type panel dot add and let's go add that um, basically label and we also want to add the text field on the panel so we're going to type add and then text field so this will add both those and then what we want to do is we want to type frame that get content pane just like we always do and then let's add our panel to in our frame and then finally let's go ahead and set it visible so we can actually see what we did here so type frame that set visible and let's make this true and before we go and compile it we're going to go up here and let's go ahead and uh, let's set a new layout let's go ahead and set uh, layout into a new grid layout let's call it grid layout and don't forget to put the parentheses there and we have to include of course I mean import sorry because includes from C++ and up here we're gonna have to basically I want this layout to be the panels layout so I will bring that down here when where I declare the panel here we go, we declare the panel right here, and then we go ahead and set panel 
and we got a type panel. Now the layout of the panel would be a grid layout. Alright, and then we want to make this a uh, 2 by 1. So we can see uh, our label and text field, they're going to be lined up in basically um, horizontally. Uh, or, sorry, vertically. And here we can go ahead and s put a number here, I'll put uh, uh, 8. Uh, all this does is set the text field to accept 8 characters long, so we can see the text field. Uh, let's go ahead and build this and run it and let's see what we get and then we'll go ahead and explain the code Alright, so as you see Actually it made it we have YouTube here and then we have our text field, but I think the All this number does it makes it Basically too wide and we don't want that so let's get rid of the number and go ahead and build it again. Oh well, is is because we actually set the size of the of the frame here to be 250. That's why we see our text box being so big. But we can fix that. And uh, I'm just making the size here. Let's make this about 150. Let's go ahead and build this. There we go. That's much better. Anyways, we can go here and type a message. Hello, YouTube. So here we go. All right, let's go over our program here for a second. So here we've gone this over many times. We declare our frame, set the title, set the location so it starts in the middle of the page, set our size, and and like once the user hits X, it will close. Then this is from our previous tutorials as well. We created a new panel, with, and then we set the layout of the panel to be grid layout. And then all we did down here is declare a new label, and we named the label YouTube. Then here's our new thing. We created a new text field, which is exactly the same as declaring any a frame or a panel or a label. Then we added the text field, sorry, the label first uh, on grid location one one, and then we added the text field on grid location two one. That's why they're aligned that way. And then all we did, we added the the basically the panel into our frame, and then we set it visible so we could see the frame. So that was our basically our eighth Java GUI programming tutorial, and then our next tutorial will basically we uh, we're gonna talk about a menu bar and adding menus, and that's a lot more exciting. So guys, please uh, subscribe to my channel, and if you have any preferences or any videos you would like me to make about anything, please leave a comment or send me a message, and don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos. Thank you so much for watching this video as well. Thank you guys.